Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 4.11. Two vertical forces are applied to a beam of cross section as shown. So this is U type cross section of this beam. Determine the maxima, maximum tensile and compressive stresses in portion BC. So you have to find the stresses over here and here. So let's start with the problem. This is the, the solution will be same as problem 4.9 and 4.10. So let's start with its solution. So as we have to find the stresses in the upper and lower portion. So stresses at the top. We have to find this and stresses at bottom. And we know that stress will be equal to minus m y divided by i. So again I have to find the moment of inertia of this beam. So for this we have to find the centroid, centroid of this u beam. So, so where the centroid will lie. So again I will... Uh, divide this U beam into three portions. So this will be your part. This rectangle will be your part first. This is this will be one. This will be two, and this will be the three portion. Third portion. So let's start with the same table. So I will write one, two, and three, and in top I will write area. Again, y naught and a into y naught because we know that this uh, centroidal distance will be equal to sum of a y naught divided by sum of area. So for that, I will have to find area. So for first, remember you can see this is the 200 and the total distance is 60. So that will be 600 millimeter square. So area of A1 will be 600 millimeter square and Y01. So that will be in the mid. So that is 25 plus 10 is equal to uh, 30. No, if this is the reference line, so Y01 will be the uh, total 60. This is total 60, sorry. This is total 60. So Y, this is the mid. So this total Y01 will be equal to 30. So this is 30 millimeter. Again for second member, so its uh, total width is equal to 30 because 10 is subtracted over here and here. So 30 into 10. So 300, 300 and its Y0 is at a distance of 5 there and the for third member will be the same as first so it will be 600 into 30 so when you multiply it will be 18 into 10 18000 so it will be 18 into 10 to power 3 it will be the same 18 into 10 to power 3 and this will be 1500 1.5 into 10 to power 3 so again I have to, if you go to three, this column, the sum of this area will be equal to 1500 and the sum of this area into Y0 is equal to 37.5 into 10 to the power 3. So for finding the centroid of this beam, so we will have Y0 is equal to sum of area into y naught divided by sum of area so 37.5 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 1500 so if you calculate this so you will get y naught so that y naught will be equal to 25 mm so what does it mean it means that your y naught is 25 millimeter above this reference line. So this your centroid will be if I draw it over here. So this is your reference lines and this centroid will be 
this distance will be y naught this capital y naught which is 25 millimeter so this is your neutral axis or centroidal axis clear and this remaining as total height is 60 so we when you subtract y naught so this distance will be 35 mm again i have to find moment of inertia of every part so part 1 it will be equal to 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square that will be equal to 1 over 12 so part 1 it b is 10 mm and height is 60 mm so 10 into 60 cube plus area of this is 10 into 60 so 600 and now you have to find the d distance so this is centroid clear and the mid of this is this 600 is at 30 clear so d is this distance if this is the mid for example if this is the mid so uh, so your uh, d distance will be this and this distance will be equal to if this is the total from here to here is 35 and center so this distance will be 5 so that will be equal to 5 square and this i1 will comes out to be 195 mm 4 now for member 3 as both members are same so i1 will be equal to i3 and they will have the same value for i2 we have 1 over 12 bh cube clear so 1 over 2 bh cube plus ad square so that will be equal to 1 over 12 what is b b breadth of this this distance is 30 so it will be 30 into height is 10 cube plus area is 300 because 30 into 10 300 and d will be 20 square how d is 20 because you can see that from this to this this distance is 25 and this is the member 2 and the half of this will be 5 this distance is 5 clear so uh, if you, the remaining is also 5 so if you uh, subtract 25 from 25 you will get 20 and this value will be equal to 122.5 122.5 mm 4 now total inertia will be the sum of 1 2 and 3 so that i will be equal to i1 is 195 i2 is 122.5 and i3 is again 195 mm power 4 so that will give you total moment of inertia will be 512 into 10 raised to power minus 9 mm 4 mm this power minus 9 mm 4 okay one more thing is that in i2 when we calculated i2 if you calculate this the value of this comes out to be 125 into 10 raised to power minus uh, 10 raised to power 3 clear so again you have to convert and when you calculate the final i value be 1 i will be equal to 512.5 into 10 raised to power minus 9 mm 4 now you have the value of i you have the value this is the y top y top distance from centroid del axis to a topmost and this is y bottom you have both the values so you have to find the value of moment so again if you look at this uh, loaded beam so if i cut over here so i will draw the same so this is the reaction force that will be equal to same 10 kilonewton 
by using reaction and this is also 10 kilo Newton so if you cut over here so again you have to give the moment equal to that and this distance is also given that is 150 mm so you have to find this moment and this moment will be equal to this is positive and this due to these two forces that are non-collinear and acting on different planes so it will produce a couple that will be equal to 10 into 150 in clockwise so their sum must be equal to 0 so moments the value of moments come out to be 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton into meter clear when you convert this millimeter into meter so that will be 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton into meter and this is also in kilo new, kilo newton so you can convert it into newton into meter so now the problem is very simple sigma top will be equal to minus m y top divided by i so that will be equal to minus 1 the value of m is 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 y top is 35 mm this is given over here this is y top so you convert it into meter so that will be equal to 0 0.035 and the value of i which is equal to uh, 512.5 into 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, one more correction please that this value is not millimeter 4. This is meter 4. Clear? Because we have converted that. That's why it is minus 9. So if you calculate this sigma top that will be minus 102.4 mega pascal. Minus sign show that the top portion is in of BC is in compression. So this is sigma top. This is in compression. Now we will go toward uh, sigma bottom. In the same formula minus m, but here y is bottom distance. So divide by i. Again, minus m is 1.5 into 10 to the power 3, and y bottom is 25 millimeter. At it is below the centroidal axis, so we will take it as negative and also convert it into millimeter so it will be 0 0.025 divided by i which is 512.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter 4 so when you calculate it it will be equal to 73.2 mega pascal so it is positive so the bottom of beam bc is in tension So this was all about the solution of the problem 10.4.11. So we will go back above. So you can see that this portion BC after loading it will be act like this. So lower convex uh, concave uh, concave portion is the upper concave portion is in compression while the con con convex portion is in tension thank you for watching the video again if you have any question you can ask